Hey everybody, Chris here from Bold Canyon Outdoors. And today we're gonna to talk about winch recovery. We're gonna talk about winches, we're gonna talk about the gear you use, the techniques you use in different types of situations. So you've got an off-road vehicle, you've got a winch, or maybe you don't, maybe you've got a buddy with a winch. So we're gonna show you some different ways to get you unstuck in a safe manner with the right gear. So obviously the first thing you need is to be stuck. Second thing is a good, solid mounting point for winches. to that here. Aha! Hey, that's better. Definitely have anchor points out here. So, like I said, this is Chris from Gold Canyon Outdoors, and today we're going to go over some gear. Some winch gear, some shackle gear, some recovery gear. We're going to go over a kit that Gear America sent out. We're going to show you some different techniques for winching to get yourself out of trouble. All right, so here I have the Gear America Ultimate Winching and Rigging Off-Road Recovery Kit. It's a very long name, but it's a very comprehensive kit. So you may have seen this in my unboxing video, but we're gonna take a closer look, and we're gonna show you how to use a lot of this gear when you're stuck in a sticky situation and you need to winch yourself out. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, so we've got the Tree Saber Strap. got the toe strap and inside we've got two pockets where the shackles go which I've got on the front of the Jeep here and then we've got the snatch block and a pair of gloves so we're gonna walk you through what we do when your Jeep gets stuck or off-road vehicle of any kind so we've got our winch We've got good anchor points in the trees over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you set up a single winch line pole. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take these shackles off the front of the Jeep, or at least one, because this is gonna be one of our main attachment points. Take this guy off, and set aside the little rubber grommet so I don't lose those. And I'm gonna take them both off just so we have them both to show. There's one. Two. The reason why I pulled these shackles off is these are a connector point between our tree saver and our winch line. So next up, let's go see how a tree saver works. All right, first step is find a safe anchor point. So I've got a good sized tree here and I've got my tree saver strap and I've got a shackle. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the tree saver and we're going to go around the tree. Now this does exactly what it's talking about. It saves the tree. You don't want to run your cable directly around the tree. You don't want to choke the tree out or ruin the bark. When you're setting up a tree saver, you want it to be flat on the tree. Make sure we don't have any loops. We are flat. And then you never want to run it through like this, like a choker. You don't want to choke the tree at all. This is just designed to put the most comfortable position on the tree as possible. So we're going to take our shackle, take the shackle pin out, and the shackle is actually going to hold both pieces of the tree strap. I'm going to put the shackle pin back in for a moment, but I'm going to take it back out and put it in loosely, but I'm going to run the winch line out to here so you can see how this is going to sit nice and tight on the tree. So next step, we're gonna attach the winch line to it. Here we go. All right, so first off, we're gonna disengage the winch, which is gonna set it to free spool so we can pull out a cable. Gonna run this cable out. And this is actually a synthetic winch rope on this one. So some come with a metal cable, some come with a synthetic winch rope. This one happens to be the winch rope. So we're gonna pull this out. And this winch hook, you can actually put a shackle through so it's not your traditional 
you know, fish hook style of hook. This one's designed to have a shackle go through it. We'll make sure we have enough pulled out. Take the shackle pin back out. This guy goes through sideways. And we're gonna thread the shackle pin all the way in. Put that in, make sure it's snug. And now you're connected in a safe way that's gonna protect the tree, protect your shackle, protect your winch hook and your winch line. So let's go back to the winch. All right, so we're hooked up to the tree safely with the tree strap and the shackle. Next, we'll come back to this end, grab our Gear America bag, which is a line damper, of course, and I put a snatch block and a shackle in it to put about, well, about six pounds of weight in it. Now, the reason why you want to have weight in it is because you want it to be able to drop that line to the ground in case anything bad happens. So we're going to come over here and put it on, hit that bottom Velcro so it holds it in place, and it puts some weight on the line. So regardless of whether or not you have a synthetic winch rope or you have a steel cable, uh, each one is going to hold a lot of potential energy. So if it snaps, it's going to go flying. So you always want to have that damper on it. All right. So we're going to make sure we're engaged over here. We've got our tree strap connected over there. Damper's on. We are set up for a safe single line winch pull. And I'll get you unstuck. So that's the single line. Next up, we're going to show you how to use a snatch block. All right, so we're going to go back to where we have our tree saver set up. We're actually going to hook a snatch block up to it. So the Gear America snatch block is safe to use with both a synthetic winch line and a metal cable. So we're using the synthetic winch line, so we'll show you how to set that up. So we're going to disconnect the shackle we just put on. And my winch is set to free spool again, so I'm going to pull out a little bit more winch line. Now the snatch block pivots like this, so I can put the winch line through it and go back to itself and we'll hook the shackle up directly to the snatch block. The snatch block is hooked up and now we are ready for a snatch block double line pull. So what this does is it effectively doubles the pulling power of your winch. So we're going to run this back. We're still on freeze pull. And we're going to hook it back up to the Jeep. So, got another shackle here. I'm going to take off the isolator because that's just a, a failure point when it's metal to metal. There we go. Grab our shackle pin and hook it right back up to an anchor point on the bumper. Nice and tight. We've got the winch re-engaged. We've got the winch going through the snatch block, which is attached to the shackle and the tree saver. Uh, back to the winch hook and a shackle at a fixed point on the Jeep. So like I said, this is a, a snatch block pull, so it's going to effectively double the strength of the winch to pull you out of a really sticky situation. Now, being two lines, one in and one out, you're going to want to put two dampers on it. So we've got the Gear America bag with a little weight in it. And then I've got a, this is actually a, a stadium blanket that I have with a pocket that you can put a little additional weight in. That way, you've got a damper on each line, because either one can be a point where the recoil is gonna come back and could potentially injure somebody or damage your equipment. So anytime you have a line going out, if you've got one going out, one damper, if you've got one going out, one coming back, you're gonna need two. So that is your snatch block single pull, or single snatch block pull. Winch, snatch block, 
fixed point on the Jeep. Okay, the last technique I'm going to show you is a double snatch block pull, which requires two trees and two tree straps. So we're going to hook up the first snatch block to the first tree with the winch cable going through it. Very similar to what we did on the single snatch block line pull. There we go. Now we're going to run this back to the Jeep. So I need to disengage the winch. Spool. I'm going to pull this back to the wind, and we're going to use an anchor point on the Jeep again. But this time, we're going to attach a second snatch block right here. All right, so we've gone through one snatch blocks at the first tree saver, so now we're going to hook up the second one right here at the anchor point on the Jeep. This guy goes here. Run a shackle through that snatch block and attach the second snatch block to the anchor point. Finally, we run the winch rope out to the last shackle at the second tree strap. You secure that guy. Okay, so here we have a single line double snatch block pull. As you can see, it has three total lines, so you've got three dampers. The reason is, first one comes from the winch, goes to anchor point number one with a snatch block. Back to anchor point number two, which is a secure point on the vehicle with a second snatch block. and on to anchor point number three with the winch hook and the shackle and a second tree saver. So this is a way to get good compound pulling power for your stuck vehicle. All right, I wanna to talk to you for just a second about shackles or D-rings as some people call them. This is a standard three quarter inch D-ring shackle. As you can see, it rattles around, makes a lot of noise, tough as nails, but it sure is noisy going down the road. That's why I love the Gear America shackles. They're really well thought out. They come with a couple accessories that make life a heck of a lot easier. First off, they have an isolator, so that's not gonna knock and bang on the bumper. Second, they come with these rubber grommets. I'll show you what those are for. We're gonna take this off, and we're gonna mount it on the bumper. So I'm going to take two of the grommets and I'm going to put them on either side of the shackle. This is going to prevent squeaking, noise, rattling, rust, corrosion, uh, any of it. So that goes on either side, got them centered with the shackle. And then I'm going to take a third one that I dropped on the ground and I'm going to put it on the pin itself. So I'll screw that all the way on since I've got those other two grommets or isolators on. So I got that nice and tight. It's quiet. The isolator keeps it from banging up against the bumper. So that's the Gear America shackle. So, you know, it's a standard D-ring shackle, tough as nails, built to last, uh, extreme braking strength on it with a standard three-quarter inch pin, but it comes with the isolators to make it fit any mounting point on the inside, the little grommets, plus the isolator to keep it from banging up against the bumper when you're driving. So, a couple little added things on there to make it a heck of a lot nicer shackle. Plus, I love the orange powder coat. Hey everybody, here we are back safe and sound in the Bold Canyon garage. We just spent the afternoon up in the woods filming some winching technique videos uh, with our Gear America Ultimate Recovery Kit. If you liked the video, do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe button down there, and. Ring that bell and you'll get notifications when we make more videos. And we're going to be making a lot. We're going to be doing videos with different how-tos, different reviews on different outdoor gear, camping stuff, outdoor stuff, Jeep stuff, just all kinds of neat outdoor stuff. So uh, if you have any tips and tricks 
Feel free to leave them in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions on stuff you'd like to see in the outdoor world, let us know. Hit those uh, comments. Let us know what we can do for you. But that's it for now. From Bold Canyon Outdoors, happy trails.